Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Lord of the Rings server. No. Oh, oh gosh. No, stay away from those. You may be asking where I am. Well, obviously by this tower you can see I'm in Mordor. We're in the Mordor Vale. That waypoint, uh, it's a tower that we, uh, took. Um, Quinn and I came in here a few days ago. Um, we've been making our trudge to, uh, into Mordor. Also, Christmas event is over, and, um, well, it's been over, but, like, you know, Christmas passed, but, like, oh my gosh, these flowers suck. Um, but we just, like, finished it up because... Everybody was missing things, and everybody got the flame of a done, and I put it on my bow, so now I, uh... Lighting. What was that shot? Yeah, now I can light things on fire with my bow. Um... Pretty nice. Um... Uh, I'll see. Everyone also got like 32 blocks of iron. Um, I also had like another stack from a daily reward. Um, uh, I also got a mithril ingot. So I got a unit trader for my faction, so now I'll have a guy to sell me Rohirrim, Rohiric soldiers at Edoras, and also a building of my choice, because you can just literally spawn in buildings with this mod. Obviously, you can't get the spawns unless you're in creative. Um, so I got a mead hall, which is just basically like a bar, pretty much. Um, it, but it, it's for Rohan, and so it also gives me a, like, a, uh, uh, I don't know, but there's, like, a trader in there, like a bartender type thing, um, as, as well, I think it, it might spawn more people in it, and it'll be another build for Eros, except I need to, I'm gonna finish the, like, walls around it. Um, before I place it. I'm also eating tater tots right now, but that's, that, that doesn't have anything to do with what I was saying. It has been a long walk. And also we placed a banner up here, so this area is protected. From our enemies. And I think we're in crash. Um Also, the Femme of Adun I told you about, um, also I named the bow, um, because this is, like, completely maxed out, um, to get that, you literally have to go to a, <laughs> what, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> what 
You just fell out of nowhere and died. Anyway, to get that, um, to get the flame of a dun, um, you have to go all the way up here, right here, the pits of a tunnel, through four rodways, where you can freeze in here. You take d random damage for freezing, unless you have full fur armor. And it's, and it's a long walk. Like, the best waypoint to go from is, like, this. But I didn't have that. My best waypoint was Dane's Halls over here. Uh, this is trying to, obviously. Um, Dane's Halls. And I had to go all the way across these thick, like, these large mountains. Like, look at that. Freezing, you just mountains, and then you go up here into here. That's thousands of blocks of travel, and then you go here. And there's like a fortress, like a ruined fortress type thing. You go into it, and at the bottom, there's like a pit. It's a portal to, or the entrance, the pits to a tunnel, which is the first fortress of Morgoth. Um. And there you have to go down all the layers. You have to get pieces for keys and make the keys to unlock um, stairs to go down to um, to go down levels. And there are also orcs there with really good armor and weapons and wargs. There are trolls. There are there's so many different different types of orgs um and stuff i know if you go down and do you know what else is down there balrogs and the flame of a dun you have to kill a balrog so i literally got this for free obviously I have the ability to do that grind. I don't want to though, not till I have full Mithril. This is as good of protection as Mithril, but I cannot. I, I can, Mithril is all better, you know. Yeah, I think one crashed. We'll see if he gets back on. Um, so my plan, I think we're just going to continue west. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to Kirithungal. Uh, I don't know where we're going to go from here. Um, I'm not excited to get actually into Mordor. That is not going to be fun. Nern is gonna. That, that would be simple. You know. Not much problem with Nern. Oh no. I just realized. Okay. So. Um. Not Leonity. He lives here. So for his unit trader, he's t choosing the spider keeper, which is so down here in the uh, Nan Ungol, the Valley of Spiders. Yeah, um, there are spiders, obviously, and they can ride them and stuff. He chose a spider keeper for his unit trader, and for his uh, building, he chose the Black Uruk Fortress, which also comes with a unit tra with the Black Uruk unit trader. He already has a uh, Mordor Orc captain thing here. He's going to have all three traders at his base. Every single Mordor hireable unit is at his disposal as long as he has enough alignment.
What? Oh, that is scary. And I don't like it. He's also been up in Rudel, he's been in Dorwinian and Dale, and he's gotten conquest here in Dorwinian and Dale. As long as he doesn't go to Erebor, there's definitely de There's definitely no one living in Erebor. There's definitely no players there. There was actually a lore uh, weapon, lore item, lore, lore uh, item there. Keyword was someone found it. Oh dang! He's back. Oh yeah, it that yeah, but that is his horse. Okay. As you can see, we've gotten a bit of conquest here. <laughs> I accidentally hit his horse. Causing more friendly damage. Wow. That's a bit rude, Warren. Water here also sucks. It's it's if you step in it, you take damage. Oh, it's a tower. Are we raiding the tower? I assume so. Okay, that's 
check my conquest here. Um, oh, I got 40 here. Out right, here we got like 20s. Okay, cool. Why, why are the horses running back west? Oh yeah, I can actually understand that. So, my my plan next. I don't. I I have to build a wall, like like continue, like finish up the walls around Edoras, like mainly the wall at the base of the, like at the foot of the hill. Cause <laughs> so then I uh. So then anybody that is spawned in from the building uh, can't escape, and also the marshal that I spawn. That I spawn, because the road. Yeah, because the marshal that I spawn is... He, I, he, I can't let him just run off. That would be bad. Oh no! My arrows are so glitched, it's weird. What happened to my horse? I don't know if my horse just like died or if it ran away. go oh he's continuing on the road oh, yeah. okay
Let's go, Mordor, lock into Mordor, baby. Ooh, let's go, and it's only gonna get harder from here now. Oh, you have poison dagger. I'm just gonna hit him from a distance. Much simpler. Oh, right. Oh my gosh, absolutely destroyed. Oh my god. He's okay. He's just good. He's asking me so much, I think. It tells us what block we're looking at. Alright, um... That is not safe. Them. It didn't go too well. Okay, 
Oh, God. Wrong couch. Okay. Alright, you see all the like how much is spawning here. Let's see how much conquest. Like okay. Yeah, just around the event is like several orcs. <laughs> So literal. Okay. Um. Let's let's look at how much conquest we have here. Okay. Fifty-seven. Oh, wrong. Uh. Fifty-three. And they're spawning like crazy still. I missed. sucks that he had a light footed which I have which is plus a nine protection versus falling yikes that sucks to lose Within the walls of Edoras. How? Do you know how much conquest I have here? I guess Orinian really wants to trade. This is so absurd that a war spawned inside the walls of Eteros. Look at 758 conquest in Eteros. How did that spawn? 
Also, I want to look and be, look at, uh, I want to see if I can, uh, look at the big map. Oh, yeah, what's that do? Okay. Further south. There we go. We found Iteros. See, there's the palace, all the trees around it, the uh, current, the the walls that are being built. Um, if there's the tree, the waypoint's like right there. There's that watchtower. There's another watchtower over there. Oh, that's interesting. Um, th this is cool to look at. It looks cool. I can't wait till this is more built up. Ooh, okay, so I think so uh, that uh, that Mead Hall. I think because it's like really steep, like over here. I think it should be built. I should put it over here. That would probably be best. And then don't line these random trees. That was that was a wood farm. And uh, as you can, this is like the outer wall here. I extended it My a bit of the way. I still got so much further to go. <laughs> But it's cool how you can actually see, like, a change in Y level. It's pretty neat. Anyway. How long have I recorded for? Almost an hour, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Oh, that, that. Yes, I, that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.